Hello, I'm Dr. Edward Bethel. Welcome to Moodle for Everyone. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can reuse your H5P content from one Moodle course to another. So there are a couple of ways to do this, and I'm going to show you uh, each of them, and which I think, and the ones which I think are the easiest. But all of them involve first downloading your H5P content as um, as a H5P file and then being able to upload it to your new Moodle course. So I'm in this Moodle training course and I'm going to want to be reusing this Unit 5 H5P Moodle quiz module. So in order to do that, the first thing I do is I click on the particular activity, the H5P activity that you want. And as it loads up, you will notice down at the bottom, it has a reuse button. And so what I want to do is click on that reuse. And you notice when I hover over it, it says reuse this content. And you have two options, download as an H5P file or copy the content. I want to download this file. So I'm just going to click on that there. And I'll be asked to save that file to a particular place on my desktop. Uh, good, so this is fine. I'll just save it right there. Hit save, and that file should download. Now, once that's downloaded, you want to go then to the course where you want to transfer that content. So I'm going to head back to my dash dashboard, and I'm going to pull up the new course and transfer that H5P content into the new course. So this, this training course is where I want to uh, repurpose that content. And as always, when you, are, um, when you are wanting to add content to your course, the first thing you're going to do is turn editing on. And so, as I said, there is an easy way and a not so easy way to do this. I'm going to show you the easy way first. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am just going to click add an activity or a resource. And you'll see when I do that, you have two H5P options coming up, H5P and interactive content. Typically, you want to use the blue H5P when you are reusing content. This one where it says interactive content you want to use when you want to build interactive content from scratch. Now, in fact, even if you click this one, you can use it, um, use an existing H5P file, but it's much easier just to do this route. So we're going to go, go through this route in this video. So I'm just going to click on add a new H5P. And it's going to ask me to give the name just as you typically would have to do in any Moodle activity. So this one was uh, Moodle quizzes. I'm not going to bother with the description. And then here, you're just going to drag and drop the file uh, into this box here. So I'm just going to put it from my download bar and drag it over here. And you'll see it uploading. And now uh, there are a couple of uh, options that you can set, H5P options. This is where you want to say whether you want to allow any of these things again. I'm going to always click Allow Download, just in case I want to reuse this again and I forgot where I initially got the file. I can actually then download it again right from this same activity. I'm not going to really worry so much about these two. And then also, I am going to make sure that this is going to be graded. I do want it to be graded. And I'll leave the maximum grade at 100 points. That's fine. And then finally, attempt options. This is if you're going to allow it uh, more than one attempt. Uh, you will, um, you can, you can say which grade you want it to keep, and I'm always going to leave it set at highest grade. Note that attempt options are only available if you actually uh, assign points to that, um, to that, to that module. So now I'm going to click save and return to course. And we'll see now that that blue H5P module is appearing. And you can always go and test it out uh, by clicking on it in the course. There it is there. 
And if I click on it, I'll see that it loads up exactly the same way as I, as it loaded in the previous course. Note that it tells me that it's being displayed in preview mode because as the instructor for the, for the course, no grades can be, or, or, or attempt tracking can be stored for me anyway. And we see now that the, that the module has loaded up. And I can click through just to be sure that it's loading correctly. Yep, looks like it is. So that's how you can go about reusing your H5P content. I'll just go through those steps once again. So the first thing to do is you go to the course where you want to get your um, to get your file from. So let me go back to my original course. This one here. Go down to a piece of H5P content that you want to reuse. Oh, this is the wrong course. This is the correct course here. Find the uh, H5P content you want to reuse. This time I'm going to do the manager grades. So I just click on that. Down at the bottom of the H5P content, you will see a reuse button. Click reuse, download as an H5P file. Save that file. Go back to the course that you want to reuse that content in. And add an activity or a resource. Select the blue H5P. Give your activity a name. And then just upload the file. And you're good to go. Remember all. Also, I typically like to allow download once again, so that if I want to reuse it, I can take it from the same file I, that I just did. My grades are set, my attempt options are set, and I am good to go. I'm gonna save it and display it this time so you can see how that file is reused back into the new course. And I see that this one has uh, loaded up properly. And again, you notice that the reuse button is here again. So if I wanted to reuse it from this course, I could use it as well. So I hope this helped. If you liked this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.